hello and welcome to a new video here on our channel from Team Purple Haze. My name is Dominic and today I'm going to show you something really really cool. I'm going to show you a little combo guide on the new Jubel support. And also I'm going to include something special for the future like the Simon Sorcerer Serata and the new Fusion that's already out in the OCG. And also have a little discussion at the end about two cards I think that might or might not uh, split the community in half like there will be people that play this card there will be people that don't like this card and I'm going to show you some arguments why or why not you should play this card now shout out to our sponsors the first one being Grad the best grading company in Europe based in Pianeta Hobby in Milan the second one is Card Trader the online marketplace platform where you'll find the cards you need at market price in one shipment only create your account using the link right here the third one, Game to Collect, is one of the top Italian sellers on the market, specializing in high rarity American cards, code format, and misprints. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. Next one is Magician Circle, a local store in Trieste specialized in sealed and custom products. They also host events for all TCGs. Then shout out to Game Lover, your favorite place based in Crema, where you can eat, play card games, table games, and also video games. Next we got Aliandi, your go-to place in San Giovanni Lupatoto, where you can find mangas, comics, board games, singles, and tournaments for all TCGs. Then a shout out to Planet Fun, the best place to go in Rovato for weekly tournaments for all TCGs. Last local store we have is Gamerland, based in Abiate Grasso, Lombardi's best shop to buy singles, sealed, and play weekly tournaments. Then we have Chapa's playmats. They produce amazing custom playmats that may have your own image on them. Last but not least, we have Dragon Inc. They produce our official PA jerseys and cloth mats. All their links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. All right, everybody, let's hop into the very first combo. It's going to be something special, and you're going to notice that I'm going to focus mainly around the Unchained version. I know there are some people that already tried the branded version but I personally think that the Unchained version is going to be a much more sufficient in the future so that's why I'm going to focus on that one. Um, also in the very far future there's going to be the Fiendsmith, Fiends good stuff link combo deck um, that might or might not be played. Uh, I already saw some combos using it. But for now, I'm going to show you the very simple thing that Jubel tries to achieve. And as you can see, the first one is going to be just a simple one card combo. We're going to start with Nightmare Throne. And if you don't know this card, when this card is activated, you could take one Fiend monster with zero hit decay and death from your deck and either add it to your hand or destroy it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the Samsara D Lotus, which is going to be the main starter for most of our combos. Um, and we're going to see that the field spell is going to play a very important role in these combos. So we're going to normal the Samsara. We use the effect tribute itself to summon the Spirit of Jubel. And on summon, Spirit of Jubel is going to add uh, a spell trap that mentions Jubel. Most of the time we're going to go for the Nightmare Pain, which is like the Searcher, which gets searched, like all of the deck searches itself, so that's pretty good. And also it's one of your end board pieces, like this card has a very special effect if you don't know. While you control a Jubel monster, it doesn't say Jubel, like usually, but it's a Jubel monster. Uh, so it says your opponent's monsters that can attack, must attack. Jubel monsters and your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving your Jubel monsters. So uh, this card actually got for some judges into a discussion and I just want to clarify what the issue is. Because usually Jubel says that uh, where it says also you take no battle uh, damage from battles involving this card and all the Jubel, Jubel cards do have this part of the effect. Um, so usually you would get zero damage and people were saying like oh your opponent doesn't get any damage as well uh, but that's not true because actually there's a hierarchy on how these damage change effects work um, I'm just gonna simplify this like the uh, part that says your opponent takes the damage comes before you take zero damage so this actually inflicts double damage on your opponent while you take zero so let's get this out of out of the way 
And now we're gonna just do the simple stuff, which is gonna be most part of the combos. We use Nightmare Pain, pop the Spirit of Jubel, and gonna add the new card, Infernal Grave Squirmer. And this card just simply says, if you control a feed monster, it's in quick effect, so it's an activated effect. You can special summon this card from your hand, and then you can destroy one monster that you control that is Jubel or mentions it. So now that Spirit of Jubel is popped, we're gonna use uh, Spirit of Jubel and the field spell, which has a second effect. When a Jubel monster and you control leaves the field by card effect, which we just did, you can add one Jubel monster from your deck, Graveyard or Banishment, to your hand whose original level is one higher or one lower than one of those monsters that left the field. And then you can special summon it. So this is important because you have to add the card. So if you, for example, draw the uh, OG Jubel, you cannot do this. Or if you draw the Jubel Terror Incarnate, the second form, uh, you have to add the card that you want to special summon. So now Spirit of Jubel is level 10, so we can go one level higher because this summons the OG Jubel. And now we can summon the second one, which is Terror Incarnate which is level 11. So now we're gonna use Squirmless Effect to special summon itself and pop the Terror Incarnate. And uh, this is something that people do in the OCG, uh, that people in the OCG do not do uh, because they don't play the third form of the Jubel. But I think that in a lot of combos, having the third one is actually really, really good. So uh, now we're gonna use the Ultimate Nightmare and Squirma to go into the simple Unchained stuff. And you know all of the stuff because Unchained was meta. So I'm gonna skip through this part a little bit. We're gonna use Sharara to pop the Jubel because the all of the special summons effects uh, from them are not once per turn. We're gonna bring back the Terror Incarnate. We'll link these two back into Solar Rage. And now you have the option, if you play them, to use Shavara, Shavara <laughs> and set one of the traps. Like this is the reborn trap, you can use the pop trap, whatever you like. Or you can just not play them at all. And now we're gonna use the second effect of Squirma, which just says, um, where is it? You can banish this card from your graveyard, special someone feed with zero ATK and death from your hand to graveyard. So we're gonna special the OG Jubel because the Lotus says during your end phase if you control Jubel, so this is actually the original one, and this card is on your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand or special summon it, and it's also another interruption. So what we're gonna do now is go into end phase, special summon the Lotus. And now we use the maintaining cost of Jubel to tribute the Terror Incarnate. So in our opponent's turn, we have some sort of Lotus, which, is, uh, which changes a monster effect to uh, destroy one Jubel you control. Then Jubel will trigger special summon Terror Incarnate. Then Yama can trigger if you want to special something back and pop a card. Uh, is it from your own? Yeah, I think it's from your own. Yeah, destroy one card you control. You have the Nightmare Throne which triggers, you have Rage which can go into SP Little Knight and stuff like this. You have the Trap which can be Interruption and they have to attack and they have to attack Jubel so that you deal double damage to themselves. And this is just a basic one card combo. Now I'm going to show you what you can do if you have a, like a two card combo or any other variations of that. So now that you saw the first very simple combo, you might ask yourself, hey, is there a way to play around one of the most prominent hand traps, which is Nibiru, the, anti uh, the antidote to all of the combo decks. And uh, yes, yes, there is a way to play around Nibiru to have a negate on the fifth summon. And all you need is your one card starter plus the Dark Beckoning Beast. The issue is you need exactly Dark Beckoning Beast, you don't need the opening of the Spirit Gates and I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to start this time by the Dark Beckoning Beast, use the effect to add the opening of the Spirit Gates and now we're just going to, the order doesn't matter here, but we're just going to keep going with this, add the second Dark Beckoning Beast and now we're going to just do the same Jubel combo at the beginning. So notice this is our first summon. Now we're gonna use the second normal summon that Spirit Gates give us to uh, normal the Lotus, second summon. Now we use the effect to special Spirit of Jubel and use the effect to add the Nightmare Pain. 
notice that uh, this is the third summon and we need to have Lotus in the graveyard because what we're going to do now is use opening of the spirit gates, discard the dark beckoning beast which was added earlier and now because we have another already legal target in the graveyard we can use the opening of the spirit gates to special summon the discarded dark beckoning beast and then we have two level two monsters on board and we can go into Jin Buster, uh, which is a monster negate plus it deals a little bit of damage. So this is like your fifth summon and you have a way to do this all uh, while being nip proof or at least one hand trap and the rest I'm gonna just speed through this because it's gonna be the same combo as we showed before. Now let's get into some spicier stuff. So you know that Jubel got known with the new support to use Super Poly to use every monster on the board to make their own fusion monster. And they actually have a card that uh, can search Super Poly, which is even better. Um, and I'm gonna show you a simple two card combo that includes searching the Super Poly and we're gonna start again with our nightmare throne and this time we have already the nightmare pain so we don't add it later on from the spirit of jubel but the beginning is very similar like uh, like i said before the combo lines uh, in the beginning are very linear and straightforward but towards the end when we get to the spicy stuff it's a little bit uh, weird and we can do crazy stuff with it so we're gonna use again lotus Spirit of Jubel, and now we're going to use uh, it to search the Mitchell Chronicle. So Mitchell Chronicle is a permanent spell that says each time a monster is special summon that is a Jubel monster or mentions Jubel, plays one Chronicle counter on this card. Then you can remove Chronicle counters from your field to activate one of these effects. First, special summon one Jubel from your graveyard, kind of an extender. Two, add one of your banished cards to your hand. So this is one of your banished cards it doesn't specify which one so you technically technically can add face down cards with this which is pretty nice so if you have again i don't know if you play against kashira and they banish something face down uh, you can actually get them back because it says banished cards it doesn't specify specify uh, monsters spells traps etc so this is pretty cool. Third one is you can banish one card from your deck. <coughs> Necro face. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, the fourth one is kind of neat. You can destroy one card on the field, which is nice. And the fifth one is where you can add this super polymerization from your deck to your hand. And now we're going to use this to uh, actually search the super poly because we can do it in a very standard combo. So now we're just gonna keep going, use Night and Paint, go into the very simple stuff. Gonna special the Jubel and the Terra Incarnate. Notice these are two Jubel monsters, so we immediately get two counters. Almost halfway there. Now we're gonna summon Grave Squirmer, pop the Terra Incarnate, and Terra Incarnate special summons Nightmare. Notice these two are again Jubel monsters, so we have four counters and then we're gonna do just a simple unchained play that we've seen before and now we summon the terror incarnate by popping the jubel and this is our fifth counter now at this point we can just search super poly uh, that's why i'm gonna just skip through this combo because it's again just the same uh, and because you summon jubel and lotus in the end you still have two counters for your follow-up turn can get back the Squirma and do stuff like this. So now we have actually the Super Polius interruption. Now the next combo that I'm gonna show is about Summon Sorceress. I don't know if you've seen it, but Summon Sorceress in the OCG got an errata. And now that we know how the effect now looks like, we can abuse this in this deck. And I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff with it. So like I said, this time we're gonna see some more future oriented plays which is going to be some sorceress and again this will be the one card combo so we don't care about nip just for the purpose of showing the combo uh, but again it starts the same 
me with our spirit of jubel i'm sorry i'm a little bit sick i'm gonna search in nightmare pain and screw him out terror incarnate and jubel now in this position we just go into squirma go into ultimate nightmare and we just do the yama play now after we add the shavara we can do something else which is now summon the summon sorceress so for those who don't know summon sorceress errata now says that if it's summoned link summoned especially you can summon one monster uh, to your opponent's field on the arrow it points to and then immediately summon one monster from your deck that has the same type and then you're locked in for this type for the rest of this turn but we don't uh, it doesn't matter for us because we are playing fiends only we're gonna summon the shavara and we're gonna summon on our side the shiyama the blue dog and what we're gonna do now is we link both of these into nope this is the wrong one into sort of rage i'm sorry for the mistake um, and now we're gonna use Squirma to revive the Spirit of Jubel and we're gonna use the Sh Sh Shiyama, oh it's messed these names up, it's crazy um, to pop it and special summon it back and now we can use Spirit of Jubel to summon um, the OG Jubel and we can use Yama because the card was destroyed to summon back the again the Spirit of Jubel so now we're gonna use these two to go into anguish and anguish gonna use the effect to link away the shavara to go into muckcracker and then we're gonna set our trap at this point we have like one random discard does matter and we're gonna bring back the unchained soul of anguish and now what we're gonna do is link these away for Nightmare Griffin. So Nightmare Griffin is nice. In the end phase we're gonna have the Lotus which comes back and then we have the maintaining cost of Jubel to send or uh, tribute the uh, Muckraker. And then in our opponent's turn we can use this time the uh, Reborn spell to bring back Solar Rage. And in this way if we just use it like this we can use Rage, go into SP Lil Knight uh, into the extra deck monster zone on this side then we give our opponents no possible way to have any errors which is quite nice and uh, yeah this should be engraved but it's all right then we have the griffin which is linked to the lotus so lotus is alive the sp is alive and yes in this way you lose the double um, damage when opponents battle but i think it's fine for the trade-off that you have a strong end board and you also have a lot of follow-up built in just with nightmare pain so yeah this is what you can do with some sorceress uh, we're not sure if this will be the way to go but it's one way to yeah, i just wanted to show this off because yeah every time i see nightmare griffin i get happy and i hope you do as well so this last combo it shows the uh, impact the new fusion has in the ocg it's already out i'm not sure when we get this in the tcg or we will ever get this in the tcg because it was in some kind of exclusive promo but yeah it's still fairly okay to look into this combo because uh, when the card drops it's nice to know how we can use it and also there's a OCG players are attacking three of the Nightmare Thrones, the field spell, uh, one Spirit of Jubel and one Jubel, which is uh, crazy because uh, you can pop the uh, monster from deck. So the field spell pops Spirit of Jubel from deck, then Jubel will trigger uh, to summon the OG Jubel from grave, and then you can banish these two from your graveyard to make the new fusion and have a, a sort of like a negate before summoning even once and this is somehow crazy for like a five card engine um, it's kind of like gamma but on crack i don't know it plays two bricks it's it's a little bit sad but it's it's funny and i like to see where we go with this um but yeah this time we're gonna use nightmare throne and dark beckoning beast for the full combo and the full extension of what we can do and bear with me this combo is going to be crazy and kind of weird because we're going to do some 
uh, lines that are not usual to the under combos or similar to the under combos let's say um, the beginning is same we can not do something about this so the beginning up until this point is quite the same but here it is where it varies a little bit so uh we're gonna use now the nightmare pain property Yubel, get this kurma and special summon yoji Yubel. notice we don't use the nightmare throne yet to um to special summon terror incarnate and i'm gonna show you why because now we're gonna link these two instantly into yama yama will add now the blue dog now we're gonna use opening of the spirit gates, we discard the added Shyama and we're gonna summon back the OG Jubel. So now we're gonna use the Shyama Graves effect to pop the Jubel and bring now out the Terror Incarnate. And then we're gonna use Squirmer to summon and pop the Terror Incarnate. And now because Terror Incarnate is level 11, uh, we can use the Nightmare Throne now to summon a level 10 because Terror Kinet will already uh, summon the level 12. And here's a little hiccup, I'm gonna write it in a chat soon. Uh, the Spirit of Jubel should not come from the graveyard because this actually can add from the deck. So the Spirit of Jubel should be one that's added from the deck. But we're gonna summon both of these monsters out and we're gonna use these two monsters to go into Rage and now we're gonna use the Shiama on field effect to pop the Jubel and trigger Jubel and Yama to summon spirit again and to summon Jubel. And here's where I said that the second Jubel should come from deck because you should need one at the end. Um, yet the throne should not add from grave but from deck so you can access two spirits because now uh, I'm gonna use it to special summon the second spirit of Jubel and uh, overlay them for the Voldraff and this is a new card that comes out in Legacy of Destruction and I'm just going to read it for you when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can detach one material from this card negate the activation then you can detach one material from this card then destroy one card on field so it's a negate plus a pop which is nice and uh, additionally at the start of the damage step if this card with material attacks you can destroy one card on the field which is also nice which is kind of like the unshaded abomination and the last part is if this card uh, if this xc summon card i'm sorry is destroyed you can destroy one card on the field so you see it pops a lot it negates it's a pretty good card but we have to be careful because the if we use the i don't have it here the red dog uh, the red unchained dog you are locked into fiends only and this is a worm so be careful if you do this now after we have this we're gonna use the dark beckoning beast and the terror incarnate engrave banish them and summon the phantom of Jubel, which is a new fusion in the ocg um and the effect is you can yeah okay you can uh, summon it by shuffling or banishing the Jubel uh, monster and fiend with zero attack and death um, from hand field and a graveyard Oh, they should be shuffled into the deck, I'm sorry. The cards should be shuffled into the deck. They should not be banished, but it's fine, it's just for showcase. Uh, it cannot be used as fusion material, so be careful. This card cannot summon the other Jubel. Uh, and also you super fully proof yourself with this card at least. Uh, it cannot be destroyed by battle, blah, blah, blah. It's the normal Jubel effect. And here it says when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can tribute this card that effect becomes the opponent destroys one you will once in the hand deck or field so again it changes the effect uh, which is sort of like a negate in this sense you get what i mean we use the Jubel maintaining effect which puts shiyama back into our deck and then the lotus in uh, the end phase can summon itself back and what you notice right now is you have an empty graveyard and that's one big thing that this deck can do and it's important because this deck can play dimension shifter so if you're able to do this whole combo your graveyard is empty and you can wait for your opponent's turn and then uh, shifter them in their turn so it's like 
another layer of interruption and you can shift that in your turn which is totally fine you can't do all of the unchained combo stuff but you can still do some other pretty neat stuff which i think is quite nice all right that's it for the combo part of this guide or this showcase of the deck i don't know um, but lastly i want to talk about two cards in pacific uh, which might or might not be played like I said in the beginning the first one is the ultimate nightmare uh, I am using it in most of the combos because it makes certain situations a little easier if you have that extra body uh, but the counterpart is it's also a big brick like it's a big fucking monster and you can't summon it in any ways uh, the least you can do in your hand is be a nightmare pain target to be destroyed so it gets out of your hand uh, but other than that this card is just dead and uh, you kind of need it in your grave or something to be summoned by terror incarnate which uh, can be quite iffy um, i'm seeing ocg builds and current tcg builds that don't run this card at all and i can see why because it's like i said it's another card that uh, yet you can brick on uh, the other card I want to talk about is Mitchell Chronicle. The reason why I want to talk about this is that yes, it can search uh, Super Poly, but also you have this card, Eternal Favorite, and you can search this card via Spirit of Evil and Nightmare Pain. And the last effect of this is if you control Evil, this card, one card, and send this face up card to the graveyard, Fusion Summon. So this basically is a super poly, but it can be reacted to because it's a, a trap card and not super poly itself. So uh, the reason to play this card is actually if you expect to have a grind game to use the other counter effects and maybe destroy a card, add one of the banished cards, etc. Uh, but it's most likely not being used to search super poly because you already have eternal favorite that kind of does this job but i'm not sure if metro chronicle is going to be played uh, i have not seen topping decks yet that played this card so i feel like um, it's debatable i can see it being used maybe as a side option for going first to have more consistent access to super body which is kind of like a big part of this deck um, but in the end, I think this will be especially a personal preference. Do you want to play the stack like this or do you uh, care more about being able to go second and to go consistently going second because that's a different part of the deck. Just as a, a personal opinion, I don't think I will play this. I will, however, play the ultimate nightmare because as you could see in the combos, it's very handy to have this extra body when you pop the terror incarnate all right i think i'm gonna finish this video right here i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i'm gonna answer them for you um and i hope you enjoyed the, uh, this guide and this like little discussion in the end and we're gonna see you next time on our channel bye bye so here we're gonna have a little example list of the Hubel deck, how it could like, look like uh, post Legacy of Destruction. Um, the simple lineup should be three Dark Beckoning Bees, three Zamzara Lotus, three Spirit of Hubel. Uh, you can decide if you want to run the blue Unchained Dog, but the red one is mandatory and you probably only gonna need two of the Grave Squirmer and the rest is pretty straightforward looking at the main deck. Uh, you're gonna need three Dark Beckoning Beasts because it's gonna be your main starter or at least your best starter and you don't want to max out on the opening of the Spirit Gates because if you open it and you search for the Beckoning Beast you don't have the access to the second one which is needed that you saw in one of the combos. Uh, otherwise the extra deck is just a little example of how it could look like and in the side deck I ran the shifter you can technically think about running it in the main deck but I think it's probably better in the side deck because if you're blind first and you don't know what you're up against you want to do your standard full combo and a shifter can hurt that a little bit 
uh, a little side note on this extra deck, it is possible to summon the DD rank 6 if you uh, have both of the untrained dogs. It's not very likely, but you have like two or three flex spots, so you can decide to run it, but you don't have to. Thank you.